I started gardening at my grandparents' house when I was a little kid. Later, I began growing my own vegetables at a community garden. For me, gardening was a connection to the seasons. Each time of the year has its own combination of tasks and events, its own place in the cycle of the year. In spring, it is time to prepare the soil and plant. Like sun, soil, and water, seeds are elemental. Large and small, they represent an origin, a starting point from which everything else comes. Throughout the spring and summer, rainy days refresh the garden and moisten the soil. Cozy underground, the seeds begin to stir. To us, these rainy days can seem disappointing. Gray skies conjure up feelings of gloom and melancholy. But for plants, a spring shower is a chance to rest and replenish in preparation for the next sunny day. Young plants grow rapidly. And it won't be long until they're ready to harvest. Blossoms of all colors and sizes bring pollinators to the garden. Among them are butterflies, wasps, and bees. As they move from flower to flower, they bring with them tiny granules of pollen, helping fertilize the flowers so fruit can form. During these long, hot days, the garden offers up sweet cherry tomatoes, long green okra, and fresh sweet corn. These are more summertime favorites, picked fresh. By fall, the summer growing season will be winding down. Many visits to the garden and lots of dirt under my fingernails will have been rewarded with plenty of fresh produce, but also the satisfaction of watching my efforts come to fruition. still getting in full swing. There's still time to plant your own garden of inspiration. 
and enjoy whatever may grow.
everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. We want to once again, Pup Train, we appreciate you coming out and supporting us. And that was the last show of this run for this year's show. So let's give it up one more time for this awesome crew. Well, thanks again for coming. All info will be Pup Trees in your program, and we hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you.